last time on Trials of Mana. So cute. <laughs> this cat is an asshole though. Like, uh, he'll walk up to me while I'm sleeping. He'll jump up on the bed and walk up to me and sneeze on my face. <laughs> Episode 24, The Winged Defender. Okay, puppers. So our destination is the Sanctuary of Mana. But how do we get there? It's in the sky. Well, Reese pointed out that there is a creature her people know of called the Winged Defender. And we're gonna head up to Reese's hometown, into the mountains of Heaven's Way, hmm. and encounter the Winged Defender. The Winged Defender. Yes, indeed. <laughs> James Baxter. <laughs> Sorry, I said it and I just, my brain immediately went to James Baxter. Alrighty then. It, he's a character from Adventure Time. Okay, cool. And he's a horse that like runs around. I was hoping he'd be a horse. Yes, he runs around on a beach ball. So like he's standing on a beach ball and he like rolls the beach ball. Okay. And he just makes people very, very happy. So it's a horse on its hind legs? Yes. Okay. Just Got running it. on a beach ball. And he just runs around and he goes, James Baxter. <laughs> and that's all he does. All right, and in the then. one episode, he falls off his beach ball. Aw, that sounds sad. And he like he can't get back on his beach ball, and he's just like done, and people are devastated. Oh my! And then it's like a heartfelt backstory of like how he became James Baxter. Damn, that sounds yeah. deep. Adventure Time gets deep with it. So it's like fairy tale. Yeah. Where like it seems silly, and then and, like it gut punches you, and it's yeah. just like, oh, the feels. Yeah. Well, I was watching a video essay about like how people don't understand the importance of fairy tale. Like a lot of people are just like, eh, I don't really like that as anime or like it's trash anime. But like the defense was, it's just like, okay, but who do you think is the main character? And people were like, Natsu, wrong. Lucy, wrong. I would, I would say wrong. it's Urza. Wrong. It's fairy tale. Fairy tale is the protagonist of fairy tale. The guild uh, is a family. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. The guild is quirky, the guild is weird, but like they all treat themselves as a yeah. family. And so They're long as your all heart's there in the when right it's place, like push you comes to shove too. Tale, which is the inviting part to the viewer. Yeah. You could be part of fairy tale. Yeah. As long as your heart's there. Well, I like too that it's like the and, uh, face the adversity. Writer yeah. Thought of fairy tale from experiences of just drinking at the bar with buddies. That's where he got the idea of fairy tale. Drinking buddies. Yeah. And I'm just I like, mean, that makes I a lot of it. sense. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> I'm just like, I see that. But no, nah, I don't I don't like fairy tale as much as My Hero Academia, but like there is something it, about yeah. fairy tale that's very special. I don't know if it's like I definitely know it's the characters and like the main team that we follow. Mm -hmm. Cause Urza's my favorite. Okay. Um, I think that it's funny how she's like this terrifying badass, but she like loves strawberry cake. Yeah. And costumes. Like, I just think it's cute. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm excited to see where they go with the story because we're still watching it. So. Yeah. We got a long way to go. Yes, we have a very long way to go. But unlike um, we're almost done with my hero. Yeah, my hero mm -hmm. to where we're almost caught yes, up. Where I think just. 10, maybe 15 episodes safe. behind. Yeah. Whereas I feel like you're really, really going to love um, Demon Slayer. Oh, Demon Slayer. Yeah. Okay. And I also think you're really going to love Jujutsu Kaisen. I have no idea what that one is. Yeah. I've never even heard of that one. Um, It's good. But uh, we're also going to get around to like some animes that I remember watching that I'd love yeah. to revisit, but to show you, along with an American anime called Teen Titans. Oh, I've watched Teen Titans. Oh, cool. I mean, I'm down to rewatch Teen Titans. Oh, good. Because <laughs> I'm just like, well, yeah, shit, I, I got watched Teen left. Titans. <laughs> cool. And then you know we'll revisit eventually, like Black Butler, and mm -hmm. I feel like you'll probably Cowboy like Bebop. Blue Exorcist, poor Cowboy Bebop. We watched one episode and it just like got thrown under the rug because we you know got involved in other shows. But it was really good for yeah. what we saw. The first episode was really cool. We liked the tone. We liked the aesthetic. We yeah. liked the setting. We liked the characters. I mean, it's Space Cowboys. Exactly. 
Like, what's not to like? I wow, like Wild Arms. Wow. <laughs> Some people call him Maurice. Some people call him... Oh! Got Some it, got it. Some people call him the gangster of love. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I'm like, what was with the cat call? Then I remember that, like, the guitar does a cat call. <laughs> I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Hey, <laughs> caramba. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch some fun enemies. Well, we'll be watching fun enemies. Oh, yeah. We'll just watch more. I was going to say, well, <laughs> we're like right now, we're watching just two long animes. Yeah, two big animes. Whereas, like, before we were kind of like knocking out a bunch of the little ones. Okay. Devil is a part timer. Yeah. Helsing. Where they're just like 12 episodes, you know, 24 episodes. Gotcha. Whereas, like, the ones we're watching right now have like hundreds of episodes. Exactly. So it's kind of the same with, like, Black Butler, I think, has 24 episodes in the first season. And, like, I want to watch One Piece, but I'm beyond intimidated oh my, by it. Yeah, One I'm Piece intimidated is by like One the Piece. Doctor Who of I'm intimidated by <laughs> One Piece um, and also, like, re-watching Dragon Ball oh. because there's just so many. Yeah, that, that one's um, long Like, too. I grew up watching Dragon Ball and Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z? Both of them. Okay. So, and it's like, but there are so many of them. But One Piece is intimidating. Bleach feels really intimidating because it's so long. Mm -hmm. And Naruto. Wow. Okay. Those three really intimidate me, but I like them. I also want to check out Rave Master because it's made by the same guy that did Fairy Tale. Ooh. Yeah. I watched um, Dead Man Wonderland. I'm not sure if I like it or not. <laughs> It's like one of the ones where I'm like, eh, I okay. guess I'll keep going. Okay. But it didn't turn out to be like how JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I was like, this is dumb. I have to watch more. <laughs> like, and now I, I like really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't turn into that. Okay. <laughs> Are you far along? Or? Yeah. Oh, I, wow. I think I have like two episodes left. Wow. Well, that happens. When there's so many mediums, you can only enjoy so much. Yeah. I think for me, like, character consistency is really important. Okay. And in that one, the main character, I feel like, lacks consistency. Wow. Where it's like, sometimes he's, like, crying in a corner, and he's like, I'm just a kid, I'm just a kid. And then other times, he's like, I'm a killer fucking mom. Like, it's just not consistent. Like, he doesn't have a consistent personality. Huh. And I just, I don't think I like it. Speaking of, huh? How do I get this? I got the sparkle over here. I don't even know where I'm at. See? Oh, yeah, because the... Way over there. I hit my head. <laughs> Can you, like, double jump up the wall? Try to tuck in. I don't think there's a double jump in this game. There's a jump and roll. That's how you, like, you can get further. I thought Kevin could jump yeah, and, up. like, bounce off the wall. I mean, it's like just... Like a wall jump? Yeah. Nah. Nah, that's not something he could do. I mean, it's just a sparkle. It's just a sparkle. It's not like it's a chest. I don't know. I have that habit of... Oh, I see something. Yeah. How do I get it? There's one in Ease where it's like, I won't spoil where it's at, but I have no idea how to get it. Oh, it's wow. literally on a little island by itself. And I'm just like, how the fuck do I get there? I like obsessed over it for like 45 minutes and then I was like, I need to move on. Yeah. When I'm not recording that kind of stuff, I can turn hours, but when I'm recording, I'm just like, yeah. all right, what's it been? Yeah, about two it's like, minutes? okay, all right. moving along. We'll figure it out. Look it up on a video later. But see, though, in my Google head, I'm shit. like, oh, this takes so long. This is such a long area. And then you breeze through it in 20 minutes. And I'm like, or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for several hours. I mean, I feel like that when like I revisit games that I played as a kid. I was like, oh, this level. It's so, oh, okay, we're here already. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Oh, the boss is right around here. That's fine. Phew. <laughs> Whereas as a, as a kid, it was just like, I was lost in the temple for seven weeks. <laughs> <laughs> just writing in your journal. No food or water in sight. <laughs> Captain's log. Insanity drawing near. <laughs> Whereas, as an adult, I revisit, I'm just like, oh, that's how you read the map. Got it. <laughs> I've learned something. 
like, if you ever see me, like, in, I, I think it was a few episodes ago where, like, I was lost in the woods. I went back to Chart Moon Tower. I'm like, yeah. I pulled a you. Yeah. Where How did I get like, here? Oh, this is where I got to go. I'm like, honey, that's where you came from. No, no. Oh, my God. This is the destination. I do this all the time where, like, I get lost and turned around. And I'm like, wait, I'm right back where I freaking started. You're like people that drink at Starbucks. You leave a Starbucks and you find another Starbucks. It's like, gentlemen, another cup of gel. <laughs> <laughs> so I work at, like, a fake Starbucks. Yes. And I received Starbucks gift cards for Christmas, which mm -hmm. I'm very excited about because I, I do like some of their hot drinks. You love your coffee. I do love my coffee. And uh, we don't accept Starbucks gift cards. No. So now I have to like go find one. <laughs> I'm off on a hero ba journey. Basic bitch seeking coffee. Bas basic bitch seeking coffee. You should stare the Jason of the homeless guy at the top <laughs> and just be like basic bitch seeking coffee. <laughs> I bet I'd make more money. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so now we made it to the peak. And there's the Wing Defender. Also known as Flammy. Now this creature is actually a mainstay of the series itself. Oh, that's it. Flammy appears in the uh, predecessor to this game, Secret of Mana. I do kind of wish her hair was different. You don't like the kind of like anime mullet? No. I would have much rather seen her without like a head full of hair. She looks like Leo Maybe from Fairy like, Tale. Maybe like horns or something. Like, horns? Yeah, like give her horns. Do you think that would make her look too vicious? No, She's not if they were like not thing. if they were like cute curly horns. Or like a unicorn horn. Yeah. Just instead of like the anime hair. Oh, you're a girl dragon. I mean, of course you're, you're a, a girl, girl dragon. dragon. But yeah, Reese gets to name it. I wonder how they discover Flammy if Reese isn't in your party. Because <laughs> Reese, whether they she's just, the they main character her up. or not, she's like, oh, hey, we know this thing called the Wing Defender. We'll use that to reach the sanctuary. If it's like Kevin, Charlotte, and Angela, is it like, um, listen, I know this basic bitch called yeah, I, Reese. I know you just see Reese, like, huffing that out from behind one of the rocks. Like, wait! <laughs> Reese is just like, the Wing Defender! <laughs> From across the Did lake. Did you hear something? <laughs> the Wing Defender! You just hear a little bullhorn. <laughs> she uses like one of those big um, horns from a uh, hat in time that you had to blow to oh, like, yeah. summon the strands. I just picture her like... Oh. Yeah, I, well I picture her with like one of those horns. Mm -hmm. Where you just hear like, woo, 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 and then like Excalibur's they, they been like stolen. light the flame towers, <laughs> you know. Reese says that it's flammy, <laughs> like some weird Morse code. <laughs> the beacons has been lit, and Rohan will see to it. <laughs> Rohan will join their aid. Uh. You see, like, a little paper airplane fly by. Call it Flammy. <laughs> <laughs> Reese. Reese? What's a Reese? I don't know. Seemed to be a character that we should have jo had joined our party, <laughs> but uh, the player decided to go with Charlotte. Mm, all the characters just look, all break the, the fourth just, wall like, and slow, just look. <laughs> slow turn to look at the camera. You picked this bitch. <laughs> Okay, so uh, when they when you see the beastman like laying there and it like closes up on his hands and mm -hmm. his claws and I'm just like someone forgot to use the grinder and then I just picture like a character running out with like the little nail grinder like me. <laughs> All right, so we're at the sanctuary of mana and the battle has already taken place. So this is pretty cool. The enemies in this area are from each of the factions mm -hmm. duking it out. So you're gonna get enemies representing the Crimson Wizard of Altana. You're gonna get enemies representing Belladonna. Yeah. You're gonna get enemies representing the Beastmen. I like this area. I also like the song Decision Bell. It sounds fantastic in the remake. Mm -hmm. It was one of the most popular songs from the original, 
and I think the remake did it justice. Okay. The other one being Meridian Child. I was going to say my favorites bounce between Meridian Child and Left Handed Wolf. Left Handed Wolf. Yeah, that's a good one. But I also really like Sacrifice Part 2. Yes, you do. I like um, Powell. Mm. One that goes. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -da -ba -ba yeah. I'm like, a chicka 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 Did you catch that? <laughs> it's like, um, that's from School of Rock. You ever see Hawaii Five O where the guys with the drum going, chicka 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 chicka? Oh, you're not hardcore. No, you're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. <laughs> what the legend of the rent was way hardcore. It's so hard to see him try to do serious roles. I mean, the only serious role I really know he tried to do was uh, the director. In yeah. Long. I don't know. It's just like the way he moves his face is still comical. Like, okay. Instead of being serious. Whereas like Jim Carrey can pull off serious and funny. Okay. Like, watching him and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Right, yeah. Like, he did a really good job. The first time I watched it, I was waiting for him to, like, crack a joke or something, mm -hmm. and he just never did. And then the second time that I watched it, I was like, this is really Apparently good. that's the same deal with number 23. Because Robin Williams was the same way. Yeah. He is creepy in some of the dramas he Yeah. Did. Like, even though he had some humor in Goodwill Hunting, he had, a, like, a very serious yeah, he, and he was emotional very, character. Yeah, he was very, like... It's but beautiful. like 24 hour photo and like insomnia. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm just like, that's Robin Williams? Yeah. To me, that's the sign of a really good actor where yeah, it's like Robin you're waiting Williams for them to really crack good. a joke, but then you're like, ooh. Because apparently that's what people say about Adam Sandler and Uncut Gems. Like, he's not funny. Oh. He's like a very like unlikable but interesting character. See, I would like to see him in a role where he's not doing a stupid voice or, yeah, you know, making weird jokes. You know, as much as I like Adam Sandler and some of his earlier works, mm -hmm. I would like to see him in a serious role. Yeah, I definitely want to check out Uncut Gems. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard it's a good movie. I've mm -hmm. heard Adam Sandler is fantastic. He was in another movie, I think, called Rain On Me, where he was the... Um, husband of victims of 9-11, the World Trade oh. Center. So, like, his, the rest of his family died in the World Trade Center. Okay. And, like, he was just mentally unstable. And he had a friend that was just trying to, like, bring him back into the light. Because he was just, like, very reclusive. Mm -hmm. And he would blare in headphones the song uh, Rain On Me. Okay. Which, I forget who sings it, but it's the one that goes like, no! Yeah. yeah. That one. And like, it was a very emotional movie. I just really appreciate when actors can do comedy and serious. Mm -hmm. I just think that shows a lot of talent and a lot of skill. I agree. Doing the old Joaquin Phoenix slash yeah. Heath Ledger to where like you just completely become these characters. Yeah. However, I don't know how I feel about method acting. I actually starved I, myself yeah. to be a part of this role. I feel you, like it's you really... Did, you did? Yeah, I feel like it's really <laughs> dangerous. But even, like, people like Jared Leto mm -hmm. playing the Joker for, like, Suicide Squad, he was very big into method acting. And, like, he was only in the movie for, like, two minutes total. Yeah, that's a buzzkill. But he would, like, leave dead animals and and other people's like studios and stuff he would he was just really really bizarre with the things that he would do to like get in the role of the joker Jesus. and i'm just like dude it is not that heavy like i don't know i, I keep hearing a multitude of things but joaquin did it and he's still fine i feel like it takes a very strong mental person Perhaps. You know, like, Joaquin Phoenix has been through so much. True. So I feel like he has a solid grip on himself that he can method act and be okay. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you get some naive kid that's like, I'm going to method act, they're going to lose their shit. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call him a naive kid. I just think, like, he was... I think that there were at a rough patch to begin with. Well, I think that, yeah, there were extra that. things going on with him and his regular medication that the method acting yeah. exacerbated, for sure. But like, not only that, but like, Heath 
because uh, I, I saw a documentary about him and like he just refused to stay in one place at a time mm -hmm. so like he got married and then like got divorced like immediately after mm -hmm. not long after I think he had like one kid but like he was just always on to the next thing the next thing the next yeah. thing and like I think which I think is the a cause of him getting on yeah his medication, it's a big problem the I the feel game. like for actors especially because it's like you're always expected to do something weird and crazy to stay in the spotlight, and it's just to like... To stay relevant. Yeah. Because someone could easily take your place. So, and it's like, it takes someone really unique to be able to stay out of the, like, out of the spotlight for those types of things, but mm -hmm. still remain relevant. Exactly. Because, like, it's crazy when you think of some of the, like, iconic roles that, like... A lot of other famous people like mm -hmm. were up for or like considered because like Sean Connery as Gandalf, but he read it and he was like, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think that would have been a good choice. <laughs> Who knows? Who can say? I don't know. Ian McKellen like killed it. Yeah. Which is crazy because he was the one actor that never read a Lord of the Rings book prior to, huh. but he's just so spot on. Yeah. Like, he immediately became that character, but, like, the fun fact was, he's just like, oh, I never read Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and, like, he was offered the role of Dumbledore, but he knew that Richard Harris wouldn't approve. Yeah. So he was like, well, that's fine. I'm, I'm Magneto and Gandalf. Yeah. Do I really need to be Dumbledore? <laughs> Every single old white man with a beard. <laughs> just... But it's funny because it was just like, okay, I'm gay. I don't want to be this wizard. And then it they was made a the wizard, wizard gay. who was gay. <laughs> so I was like, all right, Richard Harris. Here we go. Here's the entire rabbi tribe. So we got the rabbites, the silk tails, and the king rabbi. The king will rain down all of his little babies. <laughs> Swear to God. I don't remember that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Go, my children! Hi, my fall, my pretties! Fall, fall! The babies are just like, ah! <laughs> Falling from the sky. I mean, could you imagine? That'd be funny. <laughs> that would be a bitch to animate, but could you imagine just like a kangaroo enemy that chucks the baby at you? <laughs> chucks the little Joey? Oh my god. Should the Joey be scared or ferocious? Like, should the Joey be like, oh my god! And it's just like starting to punch and kick everywhere. <laughs> or should it be like, nah, I'm going to eat your face. Because <laughs> like, I just thought of this idea right off the bat. Of just like this kangaroo enemy and like, it Shoot. can attack with like kicking. But when it gets desperate, it just throws the Joey. Throws the baby. <laughs> just chucks the damn thing and it's just like, ah. I mean, would the Joey be uh, almost on the verge of exiting the mama's couch anyway? Because they stay in there for like up to a year. You're giving a lot of thought to this. I I'm am. thinking like an enemy but... and like when it's low on health, it's like, all right, got to think of something. Chuck, Whoop. Chuck's the baby. Well, I forget where we were learning that from, but like mom kangaroos can have up to four joeys at a time. 72 cutest animals, yeah. which was the biggest okay. disappointment yeah. of my life. <laughs> but like one of the joeys, they're like, yeah, it's about a year old. It's ready to exit the mama's pouch. And his like, he didn't fit. Nope. His legs are like sticking out. Yeah. And he's just like sitting there like, thanks mom. I know. Talk about a mooch. It's like that 16 year old that won't leave the basement. <laughs> Why would I leave mama's pouch? Got an Xbox in here. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. You just see the baby kangaroo like holding a switch. A little Nintendo switch. Comes out, it's like, but mom, I just got a new house by Tom Nook. My cell phone charger's in there. I can't leave and make a cell for myself. Can't do it. No. I've got popcorn in the microwave. Oh, this is a lovely visual. I like the lily pad. Yeah, I like the lily pad. Have you ever seen the underside of the lily pad? I have not. Oh is that God, the they're where it's so like cool. all the vines and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, they're really, really cool. I've seen it in a Zelda game. <laughs> Cause like they're lily pads and you like dive underwater and then it like have like these vines. And they're also very sharp. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. They're so pretty. 
All right. Quiet on the set. I believe. Uh, Quiet. Yeah. I'm gonna get all my stats in, and then uh. So do you have? We're gonna draw the sword. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like a plan for your team of what you're building up for each character? Um. So like how with, you're playing them. With Charlotte, I'm definitely going for like valuing spirit first because okay. she can summon familiars. She has good healing spells and like status spells and stuff like that. Reese, I'm balancing like stamina, intelligence, and spirit as well because spirit is where you learn spells. Okay. And spells are always nice because Reese can buff. Kevin can buff. Kevin mm -hmm. can buff like strength, whereas Reese can buff your defenses. Right. Kevin, for the most part, I'm going on pure power. Okay. But once I max that out, then I look at what I'm... So basically, out of these three characters, what I'm ignoring the most and putting the least amount in until I have, like, no points left is luck. Okay. I don't much care for luck. I can use luck for a character like Hawkeye. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to say I use... for luck. I think what, with my team, I had Reese was the spells and magic. Mm -hmm. Um... Hawkeye was all luck, mm -hmm. and Kevin was all, like, brute strength. More power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we go. <laughs> hey, I say give the boy a chance. Rips his pants. <laughs> Harry's like, oh, don't do it. it. You have to feel the connection How funny to the would it be if Harry was like, uh, oh, who was it? Captain America? In like, no, Vision in the Avengers. And it's just like, all right, let's get to it. And he just <laughs> yeah, lifts the hammer. Up the hammer. And Thor's there like, what the shit, dude? <laughs> See, I like, I love it whenever people can pick up Mianor, but I think they overused it. Really? Yeah. Like oh. I would have been, I think it would have been better if he just left it at Captain America. Like Thor and Cap being able to lift the hammer. Oh, uh, okay. Well, who else wields it? Just just Vision, and Vision gets kaput. Yeah. But I still, it's like the point. The point of it, that he can. Oh, uh, okay. Because it's supposed to be, like, the worthiness mm -hmm. to, to wield it. And it's like, well, Vision, yeah, worthy, sure. I'm just like, yeah, I, I, you already did that with Captain America. It's not special anymore. <laughs> Vision was first. Oh. I didn't watch them in order. Evidently. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty then. But yeah, v Vision was first because it was just a we gag because they improved Vision and then Vision was destroyed and huh? they rebuilt Vision. Barry. Okay. And he was no longer worthy. Gotcha. Because hey. Vision Barry. was supposed what to be the that ultimate happen? Ultron, Age of Ultron. Okay. Because Vision was created as a one-up of Ultron. Yeah. Because Ultron's like, I got a new what super suit, and they the steal story? it from him mm -hmm. and create Vision. And that's how they beat Ultron. Well, okay. one of many reasons why they beat Ultron. I was going to say, I, I wasn't... I was more of a fan of, like, the Thor movies. Mm-hmm. To an extent, the Spider-Man movies. I am a shadow gotcha. of Doctor Strange. Of mm-hmm. Like, I didn't much care for, at the time, Iron Man. Hmm. I'm sure I would feel differently now that I'm older. Okay. But, like, as a kid, I didn't like Iron Man. Interesting. I thought he was cocky. Which you're supposed to, yeah. <laughs> Which is, again, I, I had, like, really weird, strong, hard opinions when I was younger. So it's just, like, a lot of those things where I was like, yeah, I didn't really like it. I need to rewatch it because I've grown as a person since then. Okay. And I'm sure I would feel differently seeing, like, a different side to those movies. So we're going to rewatch the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans? Oh, I guess. <laughs> That's one of the reasons we why must. we haven't seen the new Spider-Man. I'm like, well, if you don't like the last couple Spider-Man movies, and this one's clearly using characters and plot points from that one, but I mean, why the, would I waste my The thing my is, like, if it's directed well, it could be really good, you yeah. know, if it's directed well. But, yeah, I just wasn't a fan of the older ones. Oh, yeah, the flammy drum. All righty. So fairy's been stolen. We got a drum to summon Flammy. All right, so that's our task. We got to figure out what happened to fairy. And we'll uh, begin that mystery in the next part. Toodles!
The mana goddess has Sailor Moon hair. Yes, she does. <laughs> Hopefully a stink bug doesn't crawl up her skirt. Oh, upset. <laughs> <laughs>